UFC 115, The Dale vs. Franklin, Saturday, June 12th. Check your local listings. You've spoken candidly about, you know, your quest to get an autograph from Mirko. Uh, have you gotten the autograph yet? I haven't uh, gotten it yet. I'm still trying to figure out when's the appropriate time to ask for it, <laughs> like uh, before or after. I, it's still something that I that I want, and anytime you're okay with giving it to me, I don't mind. <laughs> Of course, definitely he's going to get, uh, to get one at least. I will try to give him another one in, on Saturday night. But tomorrow or today he'll get one. I'll do my best to give him another one. Yeah. And so what this means to me, I mean, I'm just, man, I'm a, I'm, I'm, I'm a kid up here, man. Like, really, I've been, I don't know if I have to use the bathroom or throw up. I'm sitting on this stage right now. I mean, I've always been the guy behind the TV screen watching this and the fact that I'm even up here right now is still unbelievable like I've, I've shaken my head a few times looked over to see if I'm really awake um, this means that everything that I've been doing all the sacrifices I've made all the childhood dreams I've had of being a ninja ever since I was a kid every Halloween is really it's it's I mean it's, it's really it's really coming true like all the times I've, all the times I've played Street Fighter all, all of the 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 10,000 highlight videos of him that I've watched on YouTube every day and have memorized, like all of the walkout music that I've memorized, like all of this means that I'm doing something right. I've done something right, man. And just if I just keep on pushing that, you know, maybe I'll be sitting in this seat one day versus at the end of the table. Like this is just this is just really unbelievable to me, man. Yesterday, I do not remember seeing that mark on your forehead. Where did that come from? It's a delicate question, you know. I had a late training in my room, so. A few ladies came and they make a scratch. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I knew it was Are you okay? Huh? Are you okay? Excuse me. Does it hurt? Are you okay? No, I'm okay, but they're not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You ask. <laughs> Good answer. If I beat Krokop on Saturday night, I'm going to go home and stare out a window for two years. <laughs> and, and also... If I lose to Crow Cop Saturday night, I get to say that I'm one of the select few people who had the honor to lose to Crow Cop, a guy that has evolved the sport in my eyes. Like, I get to be, either way, this is just the fact that I got offered this fight is a win to me. And even though it's not a title fight, this is a title fight in my eyes, man. I really, I can't even think past Saturday. I'm, I can't think past the weigh-ins on Friday. Like, that's, what, that's the part that I'm waiting for. Like, um, so to me, this is, this is more than just, this is not a regular Okay, I'm gonna just go and do my job. This 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 means everything in the world, man. Well, first of all, he's an amazing guy, really decent, and uh, I like the guy. I must say, I like the. Guy. It, has not, it has nothing to do with uh, with our fight. You know, we'll fight just. I will fight. I'll treat him just like any other opponent. But I got to say that uh, I met him yesterday at hotel. We talked, you know, and uh, he's a really nice person. You know, he's like a really nice person. And he said that he will, uh, in case of winning, that he will spend two years staring to the window, but. Uh, he also get, must have some one thing on his mind that in case of lost the fight, if I'm going to be lucky and throw a high kick, he might stare to the window two years too. But <laughs> with the nurse on his left side. <laughs> UFC 115, The Dale versus Franklin, Saturday, June 12th. Check your local listings.